Apparently, I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll name it. <laughs> I was told I, I get warned sometimes, like not to bring it up. They know it uses them. So the last time we were here was before like a really big game, and like it is right now. Oh no! So so last time it was before a really big game, and Amit was talking, and the per, per president at the time of the My Name My Story Club was kind of like, don't tell anybody you're here from Sean, don't tell anybody. So I'm just like getting up on stage, he's getting up on stage, and halfway through, and he comes running up and he's like, they know, they know. I remember that. He made it out of there alive though. He made it out of there alive, okay. So, there's, <laughs> there's I want Josh to share his story with you, um, because it is the story of how empathy changed somebody's life, um, and then how Josh, in response to that empathy, what he did next. So I'm going to let him share with you, um, real quick, Josh. Preschool graduation. <laughs> now keep in mind, this is little little Josh when back when he was about yay tall, and I was a mama's boy. I had grabbed her leg, I would never let go of it. Aww. And what do you ask me to do on graduation? To go up and talk to people. My mom was saying her prayers, like, oh, he ain't gonna do this. <laughs> I walk up, I speak into the microphone, I'm Josh, and when I grow up, I wanna be Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> 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 and, well, Buzz Lightyear is a pretty cool job. You get to fight, I mean, you know, you get to go around the universe, you get to fight Zerg. You know, I practice my little moves here and there. <laughs> like, trust me, Zerg would have been in trouble if he ever came across. But, now that I'm a little older, it's matured a little bit. Now, I want to be a marketing manager. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, but, it, but in order to be a marketing manager, you have to take into account a lot of numbers. So I'm going to give you guys four numbers that have an impact to me. 18, 9, 10, and 6. This is weird because my I was born on September 7th, and 7 is my favorite number, but what about these four? Well, let me break it down to you. I'm currently 18 years old. You divide that in two, it's 9. I was bullied for 10 years, and I was depressed for 6 of those years. I realized I was depressed when I came to school unhappy. I came to school insecure. I was overweight. What did I do? I ate more. Now granted, my, my mom, my dad, my grandma, they were, doing, they were giving me food because they, they saw it helped me. They, and they loved me enough to do that. And it worked at the time, but you know, things build up over time. And it got worse. And worse. And worse to a point where I felt like I didn't even belong in my class. Where I spent more time with the class of 2016, currently, or like 2012, I guess, if we're going to go back to middle school, more than my own class itself. I spent, I spent so much time with them that in seventh grade, I hung out with the eighth graders more than the seventh graders. Why? Because they appreciated me. I took sports seriously. I was different. I was more energetic. I was more loose. To this day, I still have a problem looking people in the eye. But people don't get that. And in eighth grade, I had the best, worst day of my life. I know. It's a yin-yang. They, they contradict each other. But trust me, I'll get into it. So here I am. I'm already late to school. It's really sad because I live five minutes away from this. <laughs> <laughs> and little me, I walk, I walk in with my little roller backpack through the doorway. I look to the right from my seat. And there is someone sitting in my seat. My first reaction is, what are you doing in my seat? Then I look to the teacher. And she says across the room, oh yeah, Josh, we switched, we switched desks today. You're not back there. Literally, it was the farthest point from the door. So it was a walk of shame, head down, rolling backpacks out. I'm walking to my desk. But I heard, I heard, I heard comments left and right. There he goes. I'm not a loser. Here he goes again. Recess. By myself. 
Six years later, it no longer hurts. Now it's routine. Lunch. By myself. I took basketball seriously. It was, my, it was something I loved. It was my escape. But people didn't see that. So I, so I played by myself. Again, nothing new. Then after school, it was football season, and it was football practice. Now, today I commonly get mistaken as a football player because of how I look. But that was the only season I ever played football, and it is the last season I will ever play football. Because to this day, I hate the sport. Where I was a lineman, it makes sense, I was strong, I was big, it, was, it just made sense. But I got blindsided. I don't know who. Face in the ground. Then I hear some teammates, get up, batty, walk back to the line, do your little trot. Again, this is not new, but I don't know who did it. I'm on the ground, face in the dirt, I get up, and the coach is saying, you gotta toughen up, dude. When, I'm sorry, when I, get, when I got blindsided, I don't know who did it, I don't know why they did it, the play was long over, it hurt. At this point, it's like six years. Is this really worth continuing? So that, that same night, I thought, this is it. I don't belong here. I don't feel like I belong here. In fact, people told me, you don't belong here. You're not wanted here. You're not loved. You're not appreciated. We'd be better off if you were just gone. So I don't know why, but I decided to listen to them. Parents are out of the house. Everyone is out. I'm like, OK, this is it. Everyone's life is about to, be, to get so much better. I was ready, and then I got a call on Skype. I didn't pick it up, but I put everything down, and I just, I lost it. I was embarrassed, especially considering that was not the first time I had considered it. And then I got a notification, and it read something like this. Do you want to play Minecraft with us? And I look up, I join the call, and I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed so much that my parents yelled at me, Josh, shut up, you got school tomorrow. And my friends at the car were like, dude, your mom is so pissed. <laughs> and then they said something to me that forever changed my life. See you tomorrow. That day I walked up, and immediately one of the football players was like, how how'd you, how'd it feel to take that hit to yesterday, Fatty? And immediately one of the guys on the call said, you have no right to do that. Someone stood up for me. And I don't know if those guys know that they saved my life that day. There was three of them in that call, well, not including myself. And it was because of those three I had a good eighth grade year. It went from being a hard day, the worst day of my life, to being the moment that shifted. And here's the crazy thing. Yes, I go to Shamanoff, but one of them goes to Notre Dame. One of them goes to Crespi. And one of them goes here. We're all, we go to different schools, yet we're still connected. And like I said, I don't know if they know how much of an impact they've had on me. But it was because of those four guys simply inviting me to a game of Minecraft that changed my life. And now I'm taking action. Because I believe everyone has a story that needs to be told. I believe that no one should walk alone. No one deserves to fight a battle alone. No one deserves to be alone. No one deserves to be isolated. Look up at this wall. If, it, if there's any of these things that creates a wall, like race, gender, sexuality, ethnicity, religious belief, you name it, if it creates a wall, then I want to break it down. Because everyone deserves the same chance. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. At the end of the day, I can walk out here, and I'll just be another teen. I'll just be another adult. I'll just be another guy voting. But it's this. It's the sense that we're all human that connects us together. Now, I never told you guys the reason why I wanted to be Buzz Lightyear. 
I want to be Buzz Lightyear because I wanted to save the universe. But, by, but the way I'm doing this, by taking action, by fighting for everyone to have that equal chance, maybe that dream of saving the universe isn't too optimistic after all. And now it's your guys' turn. It's time for you to take action. Find what you love. Find what you're passionate about. Use it. Express it to others and take the next step. This is an incredibly talented group of leaders where we range in academic achievement to athletic achievement to the arts to robotics and there's stuff I haven't even named yet but I can go on. Use this and go out and create change in your communities. Thank you for listening to this story.